Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I want to talk about Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert and this was one of my favorite books from 2022. Look at all the annotations that I made. I absolutely adored this book. Now that I've read this book and loved it so much, I kind of want to read everything there is to be found of Gustave Flaubert, so wish me luck. The author of the book was actually dragged to court for writing this novel, but he escaped, luckily escaped conviction, and his novel became a huge success. It was written in 1857 and it is about Emma who marries a doctor named Charles Charles. Charles is a very good husband, he is kind to her, he loves her dearly, but he soon realizes that he cannot keep Emma happy. And as a result, Emma gets herself involved in several love affairs. Because Charles is a doctor, we get a lot of details about medicine in 1857 and I thought that was very interesting to read. You really notice that Gustave Flaubert was a, the son of a doctor and it really shines through in his writing and his descriptions about the medical world and the medical issues uh, that occur in this book. Emma is our main character and she is beautiful and she is a perfect housewife and she is very talented in so many things. Every man that she meets falls in love with her and yet she is dying on the inside because she is not happy with her marriage and with Charles. She treats her husband in an awful way, she lies, she manipulates and it is so easy to hate her and Emma is like one of those characters that you love to hate. Now, what I loved most about this book is definitely the writing style. It is beautiful and it has so many beautiful sentences and I actually, um, I marked a lot of sentences but because this book is in my own language, I looked them up on the internet and I searched for an English copy and I've written them down for you guys. She loved the sea only for the sake of its storms and the green fields only when broken up by ruins. Next quote. Love, she thought, must come suddenly, with great outbursts and lightnings, a hurricane of the skies, which falls upon life, revolutionizes it, roots up the will like a leaf, and sweeps the whole heart into the abyss. The next part is um, a little longer, it's like a piece of dialogue, because I kind of want to show you guys how uh, the dialogue is too. My wife doesn't care about it, said Charles. Although she has been advised to take exercise, she prefers always sitting in her room, reading. Like me, replied Leon. And indeed, what is better than to sit by one's fireside in the evening with a book, while the wind beats against the window and the lamp is burning? What indeed, she said, fixing her large black eyes wide open upon him. One thinks of nothing, he continued, the hours slip by. Motionless we traverse countries, we fancy we see. And your thought, blending with the fiction, playing with the details, follows the outline of the adventures. It mingles with the characters, and it seems as if it were yourself palpitating beneath their costumes. It is known that Gustave Flaubert really um, worked a long time on his manuscripts, um, he worked very slowly and he was always trying to find the right word, le mot juste. Every sentence needed to be perfected and he worked on them a very long time and you really notice that he was such a perfectionist with words. The pacing of the book is rather slow because it focuses on relationships and marriage life. I'm usually not a fan of slow pacing in books, but the writing style completely made up for it. It is tragic, it is realistic, and if you're into these kind of stories, and I highly, highly recommend this book, and especially when you're an author and you're writing yourself, these sentences are life. It is a grim, painful, tragic story. We have an unlikable main character like we have an unlikable character in Withering Heights. 
Now, like I said, if you enjoyed Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, then I highly recommend you picking up this book because they're so alike. It is beautiful, it is poetic, it is real. It's so real. It's like you get sucked into the life of these characters and it is amazing. I, I cannot recommend this book enough. Some of his other works are called A Simple Heart, Sentimental Education, The Legend of St. Julian the Hospitaller, and Slambo. Don't know how to pronounce it, Slam. By the way, I got this amazing edition gifted of Madame Bovary uh, from a friend of mine and it is so beautiful. It's the Chiltern Classics edition and I am collecting these and this one was on my wish list because I don't really like this edition but I'm gonna keep it because I annotated it. But this is so beautiful. I mean, look at it. I'm also, I would like to have a very old edition of this book, like from the time period that this was written in. And I am going to hunt an edition because it's, I think this is one of my new obsessions. Oh, it was one of my favorites this year and oh, I, it was so good. It was so good. Anyway, I am going to wrap up this video and I hope you will pick it up. Let me know in the comments what you think of this novel. So yeah, I'm going to pick up more books by Gustave Flaubert and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.